Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Sara's Canva Studio. Today I have yet again an interesting idea for you guys. We're going to create a search and find book for kids on Canva together. The inspiration came from this book here. Um, I found this book on Amazon um, and I thought this is something totally we can create on Canva. The images and illustrations are something that are easily available on Canva and as you can see here, um, you know, this is pretty simple and very interesting and I think something that can sell really nicely on Amazon KDP. So, you know, like for example, in this scene, let's go animal spotting in the jungle, find three frogs, three caterpillars, one chameleon, four toucans, toucans, whatever that is. Um, and, you know, for example, over here, um, you know, find, can you spot five sleeping ducks? So, you know, we can take inspiration from this book here. Um, five lampposts, one hot dog stand. So th this is something we can totally create on Canva. We're obviously not going to copy this exact book, but this is just for inspiration. Like you, you can um, see some of these pages inside and um, you know, we're going to uh, take help from ChatGPT for, you know, to generate some ideas for us on one, what we can add. Um, but yeah, for just to give you an idea, this is something we can totally do. And uh, okay, so let's go to ChatGPT first. And uh, I've already given it a prompt which you can see that uh, you know I copied the uh, you know I copied the title of this book and I told ChatGPT I want to create a book similar to the following title can you help me with ideas about which 50 scenes I should have in the book for kids to search stuff in so it gave me about 20 of these scenes and we're gonna start making these so we're gonna head over to Canva now that we're on canva we're going to click create a design and we're going to go for custom size and uh usually the size that i go for for children's book is um amazon kdp's uh trims from uh, you know large trim sizes which is 8.5 inches into 8.5 inches however we're going to uh, increase the width by about 0 0.125 inches so we're going to go for 8.625 inches and for the height we're going to add 0 0.25 inches um you know increase the height by 0 0.25 inches so it's going to be 8.75 and we're going to click create new design so we have our artboard ready here um let's go to chat gpt and see what the first scene is and this is under the sea adventure so let's um, let's try to make something or uh, you know about this okay so let's go into elements and let's first search for a background um, how about we look for a C under the C background under the C uh, I like this background it's pretty empty and we, it has room for us to add a lot of stuff in it so yeah let's go for this one and let's add it to our background image let's make it a little bigger and yeah, let's make it a little bigger so now that we have here this here we're going to add a lot of uh, sea animals and we already have a lot of options here so you know let's go for a turtle here let's add a few of these here and there and I'm just going to be speeding up this process so that you don't get bored while I'm adding these elements. Um, you can either follow the steps that I'm um, doing here or you can add your own uh, ideas into this. So I'm just adding a couple of uh, sea turtles um, swimming. I'm adjusting the size and transparency to you know make them seem um, either far away or close. I'm finding other things like you know corals here. Um, I'm just going to adjust the size and um, I'm going to add more stuff. Uh, do this so yeah just follow ahead and you can comment below if you don't understand anything else So the whole point here is to you know adjust the size uh, of things to you know conceal them in the background so it's a little more challenging to find these things uh, for children um, you know so they're not just right in the face but it's a little difficult to find um, yeah but be sure not to make it too difficult of course Thank <laughs> you. 
so i'm almost done adding all these elements now i'm going to add a text about find the following creatures now i'm going to add these uh the creatures that i uh, that are in the scene under here uh for you know people to find seahorse jellyfish turtle ray so let's proceed to our next artboard i'm going to add a ship deck here and i have added a couple of dolphins from the elements section and uh, you know some of them are swimming inside some of them are outside of the uh, sea i'm going to add a life port some you know some things that uh, are uh, seen on a ship uh, deck so you know life jackets some cargo uh, ship crew this man here a sailor and uh, this one here and i'm just going to be adjusting them and you know a treasure chest now i'm going to add text here and this is going to be uh, how many dolphins can you see over here can you spot so i'm just going to add numbers here eight three and six i've added six dolphins here so you know um, yeah this is a fun activity Now let's proceed to our next scene and this I'm thinking for a beach. I'm going to look for a beach background, I'm going to adjust it, um, adding some elements of the beach, a sandcastle, kids playing in the sand, uh, you know, making a sandcastle. Um, so some shards, some, you know, elements that are relevant to the uh, beach. Like I've added this mermaid here, I'm going to add um, some crabs um, you know making it a little challenging to find it you know I added this crab that's hiding um, so it's you know a little difficult to find now some shark or uh, tails or fins whatever they're called people surfing in the on the beach and a uh, couple of people swimming um, yeah so you know and I'm going to be adding all of these elements for people to find now i'm going to write spot the following and i'm going to add a mermaid there i'm going to add seagulls um how many seagulls are there four of them uh, i'm going to write um, spot the crab two crabs um and yeah things like that so just like that we're going to go for um, other themes and other themes are like enchanted forests. So we can create something for the forest here. So now we're going to create a forest. Um, and now this is the background that I chose. I'm going to add some tigers and some uh, owls and some other jungle animals here. I'm going to add this behind the bush. And uh, as you can see, I can, I'm adding a deer, I'm adding some owls. I'm adding this owl that's a little black and hard to find, some monkeys hanging off these uh, branches, a snake, I'm going to add a couple of snakes here. Um, I'm going to change the color of this snake and I'm going to make the bark uh, something that is more, uh, you know, that matches the tree color behind. And yeah, I'm going to add some birds here and now I'm going to write spot the following and I'm going to add, you know, number of parrots. There are three, one, uh, one jaguar, three snakes, one iguana, and two owls. There are more animals here, but you know, this is, these are the ones that I want people to spot. I am not going to go ahead uh, you know, and make all the pages on this video because it's going to be a long video then. Um, but you get the gist of it. So once you are done with this, uh, making all these pages, you are going to um, create the book cover. For the book cover, you are going to uh, double the width and the width uh, is going to be 17. 17.25 and the height is going to remain the same and then we're going to click create new design and this is our artboard and we're going to design our cover so our um, the front page of our cover is always going to start from the right side and the left side is going to be the back side of our book 
Okay, so we're going to go into the elements section, uh, but also first we're going to divide the book into half. And so I chose the color green and I added some elements of the jungle and now I'm adding some elements of the sea. Um, I would have added more elements, but I think we only uh, did two themes, two, uh, two kind of scenes under the sea and the jungle. So I only added those elements here. Now I'm choosing a circle shape and I'm going to change the transparency so, and now I'm going to add so the So in the text. app section, we're going to go into type craft and we're going to change our text. I'm just designing the book cover like you know, like this. I'm, I just wanted to fit into the circle and uh, take its shape. So I'm going to use Typecraft for this. And as you can see, this is how I'm doing it. Um, yeah, so after doing that, I am going to go back into text. And, and I'm going to write children's activity book. I'm going to add an outline to it so that it looks... Um, you know, it, uh, it stands out a little bit. I'm going to curve it. And I'm going to be adding um, some. Yeah, so now we want some back of the book text. So I'm going to go to chat GPT and I'm going to give it a prompt to create a back of the book uh, text for our book. Um, if you want to give it a little more detail, uh, like, you know, what is in, in the book, uh, you know, you can always do that and it'll give you a more relevant uh, text. I'm just, you know, giving it a very generic uh, prompt and I'm going to copy and paste this and, um, you know, I'm going to copy and paste this behind the book cover. And here you can see me doing that. I'm going to adjust it, adjust the size and format it according to the book cover, change its size and everything. Save it. Crop marks and feet, add a PDF, download. And that's it, you're done. Um, then you can head over to Amazon KDP. I'm going to make a separate video on how you can uh, upload your book to Amazon KDP. However, I have made uh, previous videos where I've shown um, you know, the whole process of making the book, creating the cover, and then uploading it to Amazon KDP. I'm going to link those videos in the description. Check those videos out and be sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you want me to complete this whole book and make a series, you know, with parts maybe um, on how I made this whole book, then, you know, comment below. Um, I'll see if I can upload it because um, this book will take a lot of time to make. But, you know, it's really, uh, you know, I, the whole point of me making uh, a few pages on Canva over here was to give you an idea of how you can make this book, um, you know, now you have the creative liberty to use Canva at your own discretion and, um, you know, use ChatGPT to generate ideas and, you know, make your own book uh, through this inspiration. Um, I will be back with, you know, more such ideas and, you know, be sure to stay tuned. Bye-bye.